BMX racing had peaked in the early to mid 80s and the Mongoose BMX racing team was thriving, but a whole new wave was surging in the form of freestyle BMX. Bike companies needed to either fully embrace it or get left behind. Mongoose had been around forever. I mean, everybody knows Mongoose. They were launching a new bike, a new freestyle bike, and they wanted us to be involved in that. Well, the bike they were launching was the Mongoose Decade. You know, they wanted us at the contest. They wanted us at the bike shops. They wanted us at the malls. They really want to get the word out that that Mongoose was now part of freestyle. Mongoose was such a big name in BMX, you know. I mean, that, I, it's one of my first bikes, you know. Uh, Nickel-plated Super Goose, you know, was my first Mongoose. But they weren't really that involved in freestyle. Um, freestyle kind of, I think, took everybody's by surprise. It took off, you know. Most of us were at the BMX tracks, you know. I did a few races, and then, and then I saw, you know, Bob Harrow doing some stuff at a show, and I was like, oh my god, I want to go do that. That looks really cool. That looks fun. Mongoose may not have had as big of an impact in freestyle as some of its competition, but during the freestyle boom in 1985, they released something completely different, a scooter, and they called it the Mongoose Mini Scoot. They were about to be graced once again with the success of another phenomenal product. The truth is, they nailed the scooter revolution. Mongoose was the first guy to invent a scooter in the early 80s, or to resurrect the scooter concept in the early 80s, and it was high tech, man. It had a tube frame and a molded plastic deck and injection molded little mini tough wheels. I mean, it was really, really cool. But the rumor is that, that the scooter got made because somebody in production made too many moose goose head tubes. But there was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of 10 inch moose goose head tubes laying around and nowhere to put them because every head tube on every real BMX bike was four inches long. So a guy named John George created a frame around that giant head tube to find a home for those ridiculous head tubes and steer tubes for forks. And that's the mythology behind the development of the mongoose scooter. Mongoose didn't have a freestyle bonanza like Haro and GT did, but they killed it with scooters. Hundreds of thousands of scooters. I mean, it was, it was bananas. 